Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Neil and Addison Richland, our friend, has requested yet another drawing. She would like us to draw a cartoon pineapple. But before we get into our drawing, for those of you just joining, hello and welcome. On this channel here, I like to draw cool stuff and I like to teach you how to do that in a fun and easy way. And I post brand new videos to the channel every Thursday. So be sure to check your calendar for Thursday come on back to the channel for some brand new drawings. And if you don't want to do that, go down below right now and click that subscribe button. All right, let's get into our drawing of a cartoon pineapple. Okay, here we go. So for this drawing, you're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need your drawing utensil. I'm using a black marker so it's easier for you guys to follow along, but feel free to use a pen or a pencil, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then when we get to the coloring step, this is the color palette that I'm choosing for my pineapple. Feel free to copy what I have here or choose your own colors. Also, if I'm going too fast in the tutorial, please feel free to push that pause button or hit rewind. I want you guys to be as comfortable as you can be and follow along and have lots of fun. All right, here we go, first step. We are gonna come down to the bottom of our page and we're gonna draw the bottom of our pineapple. So it's just gonna be kind of a wavy line. Just like that. Because the uh, way that the pineapple connects to uh, the bush is it's got this stem that comes out of the bottom. When you pluck it, it's got this little indentation at the bottom. Okay, next we're gonna put the sides on our pineapple. So we're gonna start over here and we're just gonna draw some kind of spiky sides here because they're pretty spiky on the side. Just go up and down like this. What's your guys' favorite fruit? I really like pineapples, but I think, I think my favorite fruit is probably grapes. Let me know in the comments what your favorite fruit is. Okay, and then we're gonna come around to the other side here and we're just gonna do the same thing with the spiky shapes. Just gonna come up and in like that. And I'm gonna speed this up because it's basically the same thing I just did. Okay, next we're gonna do the top of the pineapple. And the top of the pineapple kind of looks like a frayed piece of rope because that's kind of where the leaves come out of and after they die off, they kind of leave this like little frayed part. So we're just gonna do some zigzag lines on top, kind of like this. All the way across the other side like that. Next, we're gonna draw our pineapple's eyes. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna draw eye like that. Same thing on this side. We're gonna do another circle that copies the other one on the other side. Just like that. And then I like to add a little bit of personality to my fruits. So with this one, I thought that he'd be kind of a sleepy surfer dude kind of pineapple. So I'm gonna draw in some eyelids with curved lines like this. Same thing on the other side like that. Then we'll go ahead and drop in those pupils and irises. So we'll start with our iris number one. Just a small circle inside the circle that we just drew for the eye. Same thing on this side. Just a small circle inside the circle we just drew for that eye. Then we'll go ahead and add our light indication with just another circle, like that. Same thing on this side, like that. And then we'll throw in our pupils too. Circle connected to that light source like that, colored in in black, Oop, there you go. Same thing on this side, and color it in in black. Next, we're gonna add in the pineapple's mouth and he's a happy surfer, dude. So we're gonna give him a smile. So that's gonna be a U shape like this, all the way back up. And then the thinner U shape has got its mouth open like, hey, dude, like that. Whoa. And then he's got a tongue inside of his mouth because all pineapples have tongues in their mouth, in case you didn't know, just like that. Next, we're gonna put some eyebrows on our pineapple. And because his sides are spiky, I thought we would give him some spiky eyebrows too. So let's do that with some zigzag shapes. Going all the way up like that. Zigzag shapes going all the way up like that. 
All right, let's add some texture to our pineapple. Now they have that kind of like diamond shape uh, texture throughout the pineapple. So we're just gonna indicate that with some lines here going across the pineapple. We'll start up here and we're just gonna draw that line down like this. Over to that side like that. Now when you get down to the face here, try not to connect your lines to the facial features because you lose the face. It doesn't look as good. So. We'll continue our lines and I'll meet back up with you guys when I'm done. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing but going the opposite direction. So we'll get you started with our first one here. Cross like that, up and across like that and just keep them going like we did last time. And I'll meet you back when we're done. All right, let's draw his leaves. So we're gonna put on the sides here kind of a curvy shark fin shape. So we're just gonna curve a line out like that. And then we'll bring it right back in like that. Same thing on this side. Curve out like that. Back in like that. Connecting my line there. Now the next ones, we're gonna draw the arc over. So we're gonna come up and over like that. We're gonna pull this one in a little bit harder, kind of like a question mark or a candy cane. And then we're gonna curve a line in here and stop right there. Then we're gonna come underneath that curved line that we just drew, and we're gonna pull another line down and in like that. So it gives that perspective of kind of looking straight at the leaf and it bending. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna curve that line up like this, in like that. Curve it back in like that, and then right in the middle of that curve, pull that line down. Now the way that the leaves work is they're kind of like rows, they're like stacked on each other. So we're gonna go behind these, uh, this set of four leaves that we drew, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go curve out like this, and in like that, curve out like that, back in like that. And then right in the middle here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna draw a leaf as if we were staring straight at it. And I'll show you how we do that. So we're gonna start here, curve a very thin upside down U shape like this. And then we're going to curve in to the center of this U shape that we just drew. So we're gonna curve in like that, curve in like that. So it looks like we're staring straight at it and it's bending over. And then the top layer, we're just gonna do kind of straight up and down zigzag lines. So we'll start right here, up like that, up like that, like that, and then we'll do the last one right here, just like that. All right, and there's your line work for your pineapple. And now it's time for the gratuitous, rich with it, slightly annoying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, why did the Cyclops stop teaching school? Because he only had one pupil. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our coloring step and we'll do that in super speed starting now. All right, and there you have it, your fully colored pineapple. Thank you so much for drawing the cartoon pineapple with me. I hope you guys had lots of fun. Hey, occasionally I run out of ideas on what to draw, so if you have a good idea, be sure to go down below and put that in the comments for me. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.